As a Chinese native living in Paris, people often ask me two questions. What is your name? Oh, you can call me Anthony. Anthony, okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have a Chinese name? Yu Zhidong. Yoshido? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Where are you from in China? I'm from Fujian. Fujian. Is that near like Shanghai, Beijing, or? Mm, no, Fujian province. It's located in south of China. Okay, south of China. Yeah. Okay. I gotcha. As a Fujianese, I'm very proud of my home province. And I think, especially in Paris, you guys can learn a little bit about Fujian. Because the connection between Fujian and Paris actually started very early. Many French people's first impression of China actually comes from natives of Fujian. His name is Chen Zitong. 140 years ago, he came to France to study at Science Po and was Macron's alumni. In fact, even now if you search for him in the National Library of France, you will still get plenty of results. As a student of Fujian Chuanzheng School, Chen Zitong came to Paris in 1877 to study law. A few years later, being able to speak French fluently and with his easygoing personality, he became a celebrity in the French culture and the political circles at the time. He was the cover boy of the Paris magazine Illustration in 1891 and was the most French Chinese in the eyes of Romero. He was the first Chinese writer to publish a book in French in France, and he was also one of the Chinese to break through the prejudice and convey the true image of China to the Western world. Oh, I feel like I'm a history teacher now. Anyway, but then he was really well known in the French culture and the political circles. And the book I have here on my iPad is his book published in France at the time, Self-Portrait of Chinese. The book tells a lot about Chinese customs at that time, the way the Chinese people deal with each other and so on. After this one, he published several other books in French. In addition, he translated the Chinese classic Liao Zhai into French. He said that China was the most misunderstood country in the world. And what he did at the time was to correct the misunderstandings of the Western world about China. After all these years, misconceptions about China have certainly become less common, but they are still there. To be honest, I'm sometimes shocked to see how some Western media is talking about China. And while some of it may be true, I have to say that it has been intentionally exaggerated. As someone who has worked in the media in China for many years, I understand how much footage and storytelling can influence people's understanding and how easy it is to create bias with this image and words. In my opinion, the best way to understand a country is to start by getting to know the people there. 140 years ago, Chen Zitong has done exactly that. And now, there are more and more Chen Zitongs from all over the world who are working on it in the different countries. You should know that it is never the nationality that separates you from me, but the phrase, nice to meet you. So what's, what's good in Fujian? A lot. 